it's easy as a Minnesota Fighting Vikings fan to get all emo and whatnot. The season, no, no one told you the season was going to be this way. But we get the vibe from some of the fans that... They want to lose these final two games, even though they have a shot at the playoffs. They still have breath in their lungs uh, to get a better draft pick. Even though we outline the Vikings currently are drafting 12, the best they realistically can do is move up to ninth. So, cool. Cool. There's a couple things in play here. Number one, higher draft position is not correlated with success. Ask the Jets, ask the Lions, ask the Jaguars, etc. Number two, that would require the Vikings to lose to the Packers and the Bears, which I'm not prepared to do. Now, I'm very laissez-faire about, uh, there's too many people who are very narcissistic about what type of, well, if you do this, you're not a true fan, because if you're not the exactly type of fan that I am, then you're not a fan. I am a whatever. There's a large spectrum of fans, casuals, hardcores, whatever. But I, I feel like the, the one caveat to that is if you actively root for your team to lose to their biggest rivals, uh, I'm going to take that fan card. It's really rough. Uh, hell, even if the Vikings were, God forbid, 0-16, and they played the Packers the final week of the season, and if the Vikings beat the Packers, they would lose the number one overall pick, and if there was a great quarterback, there was only it was a one-quarterback draft, I'd be like, F the Packers. Go Vikings. Skull to the bowl. Keep Skull alive. Of course, Packers fans will say, oh, it's pathetic. Oh, Vikings fans only worry about beating the Packers. Blah, 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 blah. What's the alternative? Uh, what is the alternative? Like, I, I understand you're trying to make a stupid uh, statement and a stupid point, but what's the alternative? That we should root for our team to lose to our biggest rivals? Is is that what should happen? No. Uh, or what should we want? Do we want our team to get embarrassed on Sunday Night Football, on national television, against the stupid, greasy, grimy, Green Bay Packers? No. No. I want to crush a Aaron Rodgers and his bird bones. I want to change the smug look on the 12-year-old boy's face. I want to show the world that Justin friggin' Jefferson is the best wide receiver on the field and not Devonta Adams, who is not as good as Justin Jefferson. And no matter what happens in the early games with the Niners, with the Saints, with the Eagles, etc., the Vikings cannot be mathematically eliminated uh, heading into Sunday Night Football. Uh, plus, if the Vikings beat the Packers, sorry, when the Vikings beat the Packers, it forces them to play Week 18 according to Hoyle because they can't suture up the one seed so for that we thank you we play spoiler a little bit as well and durr the vikings have no chance in lambo well the vikings won there last year dalvin cook who should be back for sunday night football remember scored four touchdowns and also the vikings are beep bop up up, up boop two and oh in their last two meetings with the packers which I i've been told is mm. it's good yeah, that's pretty good. And I understand that there was no energy versus the Rams the day after Christmas, but I don't care. Like, strap it up, suck it up, have pride in your shirt one time, give Vikings fans hope, keep Skull alive, start 2022 off on a high note, go into Green Bay as six and a half point underdogs, and burn Utica to the ground. Yeah, that's all I'm asking. I, I don't ask for much, but do that damn thing because <sighs> you can't root for the Packers. My God. How we got to this point, I don't understand, but yeah. Uh, but your thoughts are our thoughts. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.